I'm Larnold Jernigan. Senior. Senior. And I'm R.R. <coughs> Got a frog in your throat, huh? I'm R.R. Barefoot. There you go. This, this is, is English. English at summer school. Come on, stand on up here. We gotta do a proper intro. Now, you gotta be real careful once you start learning about the stories of Shakespeare, specifically Romeo and Juliet. When I was in high school, let me tell you right now, I memorized a small, very small passage from this. Did you? I had a girl coming after me like a feral cat. That was the definition of someone being in heat. What would you remember from high school? Um, well, I think it went on something like this. Where art thou loins? Uh, come hither and smell the fruits of my large uh, intestine. Pull my finger. Why you give me the knuckle? Well, that's how you pull it. You gotta catch it first. You wanna put on a costume? I do, yeah, I do. What's this? That's it. it right there? It covers you. you. Let go of it. And then bend over. And then, there you go. There, go. there it is. I had to wear one of these when that girl started coming after me. Pull my finger. All right, let's go. Up to ears. Good Lord. <laughs> what? You getting to the pimento cheese again? <laughs> That's where it went. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like to get that first spoonful, and then I put the top back on. Let me tell you, Jack. Came back, the whole thing's gone. I ate the whole rest of the pimento cheese. Well, it shows. It feels good. Let that out. Okay. It's kind of like if you've been holding a secret. You ever not told somebody something yeah. for many years? You ought years? to keep your secrets to yourself. <laughs> your eyes are watering. You, <laughs> you got to hold your secrets a little tighter if you know what I'm saying. All right, here we go. Good God. <laughs> We're on page 95. Come, we burn daylight, ho. It says it right there, ho. Well, they talk dirty back then. I tell you, that's why, that, that's why it works so well. Nay, that's not so. I mean, see it. I think you just seemed like Rusty that whole time. Have you heard recordings of Romeo speaking? Well, of course I have. Some of the very first recordings are of Romeo. I, I believe Edison captured them. And what did he sound like? And we mean well in going to this mask. Pull my finger. That was a test and you failed. You're stupid. We don't need this. We can do this from memory. And if I remember correctly, Juliet takes out her sword and tries to swallow it. I can make this look realistic. I'm so tired. When you get your sword down inside you like this. Hold on, you gotta cover that part. There you go. Say, whoop, oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Lay down on the table. Oh. Juliet. It appears that my love, Juliet, has swallowed a sword completely. I'm gonna have to pull the sword out. All right, when I count to four, you pitch. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. With that sword that passed through my body, has my DNA on it, you will do great things, young man. Juliet. What? Has died. Oh. And left me to rule the seven kingdoms. But I just cannot do it. I'm gonna have to swallow this sword as well. Mm -hmm. Hold on, line up with my knee. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Am I out of frame? No, I still see your face. I'm, I'm. Drop your Romeo face. Romeo has died. Drop your face. Romeo has died. Drop your face a little now bit more. Now, Juliet, wake up. You didn't really, you faked it, remember? Hold on, there you go. You faked it. Shh, 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 shh. Wake up, Juliet. Hold on, quit giving me instruction. Don't you remember how it goes? Yeah, but I, you gotta fully die. I'm fully dead. Okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I just passed a sword through my entire intestinal tract for nothing. Then, help 
me up. This, this is, is English. English. You're gonna have to, I can't just drag you. You're gonna have to, now let me get on. It's an impasse. That's not going. That's, that's not going to work. All right. All right. This has, has been, been English. English.